Um, so first of all, our hypothesis, before we get into that, a little recap of what we did last week is that we held an open gym last week at a community college and we had 30 people show up. Um, and then so our hypothesis is based off of that, that we will be able to retain 25% of the people and have them show up to the next event. Like in class, we talked about um, measuring customer enthusiasm and engagement, which is like how often they come back. So this is measuring that. And so then 25% of 30 people is 7.5 people. So we want, if more than that people come, then that means we succeed in our hypothesis. So then um, our next event was that we held a tournament at the RSF um, for like new people who are welcome, so like Cal students, and then also we like heavily marketed this and like message like the people that came to the open gym and like let them know. And, and then uh, with this metric, we were able to see how many people came from, from the previous event. And then our retention rate, what we key learning from that is our retention rate was pretty strong. We had 27 new members from Cal, um, but then, yeah, and then people were, also another learning is that people were more competitive than we thought they would be. And then also was that most people came with their friends, only like very few came individually. Um, and then our, was our hypothesis validated? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, so nine people came from the previous event that we had, which is higher than 7.5, so we had more than 25% of retention rate, which is, um, that means we, our hypothesis correct, was correct. And then this week we did three interviews. One was a coach from Berkeley High, and number two was a classmate who previously held a similar tournament, and then a three was a recent graduate who showed up to our tournament. So key learnings from the coach from Berkeley High was that people, the, the athletes that went to practice, or that went to trials to Berkeley High and they didn't make it, they usually turn to the streets. And a lot of them, like, they, school wasn't their main priority, so they went back to the streets where they were selling marijuana, smoking marijuana, and just stuff like that. So what we learned is that we could, with our program, we could really shift the attention of people and shift their mindset. We could make a positive impact on the community by doing something so simple. And then number two, the uh, classmate um, that previously held a tournament, we learned that um, there are other organizations that help, such as the AAU, uh, they help people like us who want to get started and who want to host basketball events. And also, from that same person, we, to, uh, we learned that we have to worry about liabilities and permits. Some cities require you to have permits, and we have to worry about what happens if someone gets hurt or someone, you know, bumps their head or something. We have to worry about stuff like that. And then, number three was the recent grad who came to the tournament. Um, he said that they weren't always competitive, but that's only because they weren't uh, they were tired. So one thing we could do, uh, us, uh, me, Polly, and Lorenzo, we could hold practices or conditioning practices. We could have people run and just get in shape so they could be competitive for the whole tournament. And then uh, one assignment that we did this week was the marketing assessment. And what we learned is that our in industry is monopolistic competition. That means there are a number of there are and that there can be a number of uh, businesses like ours, but they all differ in one way or another. Like for example, we differ in the terms that we offer basketball and only basketball, and we offer it for the whole year. And then the type is existing. You know, there are um, like stuff like the YMCA, AAU, stuff like that that already happens. So we just hopped into that business. And our market size is basically not people who are in the market, uh, the market, but people who can be. Uh, there's 20 people. We, we estimate about 20 people from each uh, I'm sorry, each community college that would be interested. About 80 from each university in the Bay Area, and about 5% of the adult community, who we have gotten just from, uh, based off of uh, the open gym. And then moving forward, our test for next week, we're gonna have another tournament, but this time we will offer an incentive. Basically, our question is, our hypothesis, which will lead to our hypothesis, is that will this increase retention and will this attract more people? So, for the people that we uh, intend to speak to next week, it, uh, it includes uh, an official from the YMCA and also 
uh, trying to implement uh, what we discussed in lecture, uh, which is like trying to get a different perspective from someone outside of Cal. We're trying to speak uh, from a, to, to a student uh, from Oakland. And also uh, questions that we have include how to, how to market, how do we attract uh, more people, and in order to do so, we're trying to provide incentives, as Amarner just mentioned, and those incentives will include uh, gift cards. Um, and also, we got uh, we have the idea of passing out flyers on campus to students, and we got this idea from some from the individual we interviewed this this past week. Um, and the second question is how much to charge. And in order to find that out, like what, what is a, a good price, a reasonable price, is that we're, we're gonna uh, survey people who come to uh, next week's tournament. And at this point, we feel that something that we will struggle. Maybe we're not struggling right now, but next week will definitely something we'll struggle with is. Finding important people uh, who to interview.